Now, back in the day, this meant you actually had to get out there and get another physically taxing job. And while that would pay you, it also required lots of extra physical effort, which wouldn't be sustainable in the long run. However, with the onset of the internet, you can pick up an extra job anywhere in the world and get it done from home. If you're good at a particular subject, you could tutor someone online for an hour a day. If you're good at social media, you could become a social media manager. Remote jobs allow you to make money in a poor economy without having to put in lots of physical effort or relocate. Number six, set up an Airbnb. If you've got an extra room in your house, why not use it to make money in a bad economy? As bad as things get sometimes, there's always people that travel around, some for leisure, some for necessity, and what does every traveler need? A place to stay. In the old days, you would have had to spend thousands, if not millions of dollars to set up a guest house that would maybe someday bring in a profit. Today, that vacant room can be an instant money-making machine. Sign up on Airbnb or list your home for rent anywhere online and make money every time someone passing through takes you up on your offer. Number seven, become an Amazon reseller or dropshipper. Amazon isn't just a place where you can buy anything you want, it's also a place where you can sell just about everything. And that means you can even list something for sale on Amazon and use it to sell. And this doesn't mean you have to buy tons of inventory to sell something. You could even try out drop shipping. With drop shipping, you list items on your store that you don't even have yet, so there's no physical inventory to keep. Your customers place an order on your Amazon store and you place an order with your manufacturer, who then ships the item directly to your customers. The way you make money here is by marking up the price on the product ever so slightly. Since you won't be paying for the shipping or the costs to maintain inventory, your entire markup is the profit. Number eight, make money off used goods. The car market might not be doing so well all the time, but the used car market is almost always booming. No matter where you live, you probably have at least one great car showroom that sells used cars nearby, and that is the perfect ground for you to make some money. All you have to do is save up enough to buy one used car. Go for something that's got a little bit of room to be fixed up. Then fix it up and sell it at a higher price. The restored version is bound to make a lot more money than you paid for it. This concept can be used in pretty much any industry. Shoes, bags, phones, pretty much anything at all. Just buy as cheap as you can and sell it for a profit and you'll be making money regardless of how the economy is doing. Number nine, set up an online garage sale. A lot of us are hoarders in one way or another, even if we don't want to admit it. From collecting way too many Pokemon cards to never letting go of a pair of shoes that obviously don't fit, there's something we're all holding on to. If a regular garage sale isn't your style, you can hold one online and get rid of things just collecting dust in your house and transform that dust into money. This can be done through apps like Poshmark or simply by posting your things on your social media accounts and seeing if anyone would be willing to pay for it. That way you can clean out your closets and make some money too. Number 10, deliveries. No matter what's going on in the world, people have got to eat, right? That's a non-negotiable. It's going to be prevalent everywhere all the time. You might be thinking, how can that benefit me? Well, it's easy. In order for the food to actually make it to the people that need it, someone needs to get it there and you can be that someone. With platforms like Uber, you can easily sign up to be an Uber Eats driver and just hand people their meals and make money while you do. And the great thing about this is you don't really need to quit your day job or put in long strenuous hours. Just pick up a few hours here and there and you'll still make some decent cash. Number 11, write online. These days, it's like we're living in two different worlds. One is the physical world and the other, the online world. 
while we might be able to get by just fine in the physical world on our own, the world online is endless. And if you have a knack for writing, you can find your own place in the massive world too. Since most of the internet needs people to convey their message through words, you can sign up on any writing platform and get hired to write online.